Last week, we talked about the sequence of events in a story. Events are things that happen in a story. They are told in sequence or in order. So we use the word first to describe the most important events that happen at the beginning. We use next to describe the most important events that happen in the middle. This week, we will also use the word then to describe events that happen in the middle of the story. We use the word last to describe the most important events that happen at the end. Today, I'm going to read a story out loud to you called You Will Be My Friend. And at the end, we're going to go through and pick out the most important events that happen first, next, then, and you'll tell me what happened last. You will be my friend. Lucy was very excited when she woke up. Mom, I've decided I'm going to make a new friend today. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting, Lucille. But how do you plan on finding a new friend? Mom, the forest is crawling with fun critters. Surely one of them will want to be my friend. This is going to be great. So Lucy went outside to begin her search. Good luck, Lucille. Bye, Mom. I cannot wait to make a new friend. We're going to do cartwheels and climb trees and have picnics and go swimming and have a dance party. Lucy's search got off to a great start when a nice critter invited her to play. Oh, oh yes, I'd love to join you. Woohoo! But things didn't work out. Oh well, there are plenty of other critters in the forest. It didn't take long for Lucy to find another funny, friendly looking animal. I'll just go up and introduce myself. Munch, munch. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to climb into your breakfast. That friendship didn't work out either. Lucy did her best to win over the forest animals. She was helpful. Don't you worry, we'll get that nasty smell out. She's talking to a skunk. She asked lots of questions. So, tell me, what's it like to fly? And she tried to fit in with everyone she met. But Lucy was starting to feel ridiculous. She came close to making friends a few times, but something always went wrong. Thanks for inviting me to lunch. Sorry I ate your house. Lucy couldn't believe how hard it was to make a new friend. She was ready to be friends with anyone. Well, Almost anyone. Squeak, 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 squeak. Come back here and have fun with me. That's when things got ugly. You won't get any snacks unless you start liking me right now. You will be my friend. I can wait. She's bossing the egg around. That poor bird hasn't even hatched yet. Lucy tried to calm herself down. Take a deep breath, Lucy. You can do this. You can make a new friend. Just be yourself. Doesn't anybody want to be my friend? This is hopeless. It looked as if Lucy would never find a new friend. And then... A funny thing happened. Squawk! Squawkity squawk! Oh my gosh! Are you asking me to be your friend? Squawk! I accept! And that's the story of how these two friends found each other. The end. The first thing that happened in this story was Lucy woke up and decided she was going to make a new friend. 
Next, she tried everything she could to be friends with all the forest creatures, but nothing was working. Then, she lost hope. She decided she was never going to make a new friend. What happened at the end of the story? You're going to record a video to tell me what happened last.